You know how it is with somebody bombs. Have you ever seen someone bomb so bad you should be like, I'll remember this for the rest of my life? <laughs> okay, so listen to this. I'm t- I'm, I'm, and I'm saying names. Yes. All right, so I'm in L.A., right? Showcase for NBC, so you can imagine. But there's like in LA, it's a network showcases, bring all the comedians come to audition for major American television station. This particular night, instead of the steps that people normally walk on the stage, there was a ramp built, and they wheel onto the stage. A gentleman, to introduce him, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carl Crazy Legs. Fonseca and Carl Crazy Legs Fonseca comes on stage. They wheel him up there, and I'm not exaggerating. This gentleman is a real person. He's incredibly handicapped. They said he had cerebral palsy, but I mean, it was amazing. He was very handicapped. Rocking back and forth, this, that. So I'm just telling you as an audience member, it made me feel a little uncomfortable at first. Then he starts doing his act. Gets his first laugh, it was a good laugh. Second laugh was an even better laugh. Like by two minutes into his act, it wasn't uncomfortable. Three minutes to his act, it was like he wasn't even handicapped anymore. I'm telling you, by seven minutes, it was beyond handicapped. It was like he was standing tall, and by eight minutes, he was fucking superhuman. Listen to me. I have never, I'm doing comedy over 20 years now, I've never seen somebody before then or since then do this good. It was fucking amazing. I mean, he was genuinely, sincerely funny. Crowd starts going nuts. And he finished his show. He say, thank you very much. Good night. And the place fucking erupts. I mean, I have never seen anything like this. Good night, everybody. Drops the mic, they wheel him off the stage. All is still standing up, clapping. Ah, it was fucking amazing. Now he's all the way to back, you know, LA, LA improv is. Ah, it was, he's in the back, still going crazy. It's like the end of Purple Rain when Prince walked through the motherfucking thing, and, and everybody's all in the hallway. Ah, I mean, it was frothing at the mouth, people loving him. On all that hoopla, I hear the MC go, ladies and gentlemen, Nick DePaulo. <laughs> You know Nick DiPaolo. Yeah. He's a funny dude. I call this a cosmic, cosmically funny. You know what cosmically funny something is? That's when something happens in the room, and it might not be funny to the people in the room, but the joke is actually told by the observer. Because then you say you saw it, and then it's funny. <laughs> this shit was cosmically funny. So Nick goes on. After call, Crazy Days for second had what I still consider the best set I've ever seen in my life. Nick Powell went on. You can tell him I said this. He had the worst fucking show I have ever seen any comedian. I mean, this motherfucker died the most horriblest death ever. I mean, it was fucking amazing how bad he did. And it was the worst kind of bomb. Because it wasn't like a loud bomb. It was just like a... I could feel hate radiating out of the audience. And you know why he bombed? Not because Carl was so good, but because Nick... Did all handicap jokes after him. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> right. It, he had to be a comedian to understand how. It was so fucking wrong that it might have been the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, while the whole crowd was like, we hate you, Nick. I was thinking, I can't wait to tell somebody about this. <laughs> I remind him about that almost every time I see him. You remember when Carl Crazy Lady Fonseca went up, he did all handicap <laughs> jokes? Why you do that, Nick? Why do you do that? Bad decisions. 